Hi, we're back. Thanks for staying with us. Joining me now is Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. He, of course, is the CEO of Origin Oil, O-O-I-L. Uh, good to see you again. Great pleasure, Don. You know, I'm gonna, I think I'm just going to start referring to you as Mr. Algae. <laughs> or Algae Man. We'll have to get you like a green suit, you know, with uh, AM on the, on the chest. Just, I am Algae Man. <laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> How can I stamp that out? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you're going you're gonna to stamp out uh, fossil fuels as a uh, feedstock for, um, for uh, powering our world. Uh, but tell us again, uh, tell our audience who's probably not seen you for a while, uh, maybe just joining us again. We've got some new affiliates joining us this week on our 700th program. Uh, tell us what the company does. Well, in fact, this is a good time to talk about it because we just focused in our business model further. We had a big, a big announcement this morning where we basically said, look, we're definitely not going to be producing algae. We're not even going to make you know, volume manufacturing, we're not going to build sales channels. We're kind of like Dolby mm -hmm. uh, in that we're going to inject this critical technology to really industrialize the production of algae for fuels, chemicals, nutritionals, pharmaceuticals, and so forth, beauty products. Mm -hmm. um, there's all a range of products that can come out of algae, but first you've got to industrialize this production. Mm -hmm. And as you know, previously, we announced that we're really focusing on extraction. That's our, what we call the neck of the hourglass. Mm -hmm. People are growing, lots of people are going to grow, lots of people are there to refine, but in the middle, there's a big challenge with getting the water out and getting the oil out of the algae. So um, that, you know, that becomes, as you mentioned, the, the neck of the hourglass, but that becomes the catch is catch all. Without that part of the technology, the other two really can't uh, coexist. Yes, and in fact, I was just uh, noticing that this week we, we had a there was a big roundup in Biofuels Digest, the world's most widely read f biofuels daily. And the, the title of the article was, Lot of Water. <laughs> Lot of Water, Algal Innovators Pioneering New Extraction Techniques. And we were, you know, one of the top players being mm -hmm. uh, discussed here. Because as this article, it's a wonderful article, talks about why it's important. One minor detail, one teensy thing. In fact, it's so small it's microscopic the algae that is. It's mm -hmm. single cell and it's about a tenth of one percent wow. of the total. So you got to take out a lot of water. Yeah. Now, of, of course, and that's always been an issue uh, with the technology from day one because, of course, algae grows in water mm -hmm. and in order to uh, turn it into uh, another product, the water has to be eliminated. Uh, how is that part of it uh, developing as far as the technology goes? Sure. And in fact, uh, while we call our, our process single step extraction mm -hmm. because we can do it all in one, uh, from a, an end use point of view, there's really two stages. The first stage is dewatering. Now you can dewater algae and take the entire organism, green stuff and all, mm -hmm. and send it through a process that turns it into basically crude oil. Mm -hmm. Oil, biomass, you name it. And the refineries know what to do with bio oil. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a, a direction that's being developed through a process called hydrothermal upgrading. So that's that part. Mm -hmm. If you continue with our process, you want to get the oil, the, the lipids out, the stuff that you know has the omega-3s and so forth. It's very, very um, important. In fact, almost too important to make into fuel. Right. So you, we then split. So we dewater, and that's useful as a fuel. And then we can take the next step, split it into oil and biomass. The oil then becomes many products, including pharmaceuticals. And the biomass can become, uh, of course, fuel, but also cattle feed and fertilizer and so forth. So it's a whole bunch of branchings that come out of this process, but we've made it rapid. It happens in seconds. It's highly scalable. We've really broken the back of the whole dewatering and extraction process. Well, what's amazing, too, is that your technology, as you described it, you're going to be like Dolby. Uh, it's going to inject into various processes. So you're essentially going to be in the licensing business of your technology, I would assume, right? Yes, of course. You know, you can only license one of the things uh, once you have an industry to license right, into. Of course. At this stage, what we're doing is, is working with strategic partners in the field who are going to help us pilot our systems bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And it's, a great, it's great for me to know I'm not going to have to raise $20 million to build power pilot plants right. because we have customers who are happy to take our technology as raw as it is still and work with it for competitive advantage. And as a result, we literally have a funded path to full scale commercialization. Once we have that, then of course we go through distribution with engineering service firms, manufacturers, distributors, 
um, all the players that are going to show up, many of whom are today in the petroleum industry. Now, have, we've noticed lately that major oil companies are talking about algae in, in these really nice, nicely produced television commercials. With this new focus on algae, does that seem to help your business model when you're talking to potential partners and potential licensees? Yeah, you know, people love the fact that there are ads and it gives a lot of credence to algae. Mm -hmm. I would say that this is a big year for algae to kind of mature and come together. Um, in fact, I have another wonderful article that we were into. Um, environmental expert put us uh, algae, 10 superstars with strate strategies for success. So we were a part of a list of 10 companies, some of whom some of which have raised hundreds of millions of dollars. We're right in that list. Wow. That's, this is what's happening. Is it's going to come into an elite very quickly, and those people, those companies, are going to drive the future of the algae industry. Once again, Origin Oil, O-O-I-L, is their stock symbol. Uh, Riggs, it's always an education with you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Don.